my top priority is nine nine nine. <laughs> and don't forget that nine 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 is the regressive tax from hell. The 47% of Americans in the lower bracket would suddenly pay 27% in combined taxes under the 999 plan. Let's bring in Professor of Public Policy at the University of California at Berkeley and author of the book Aftershock, Mr. Robert Reich. Mr. Reich, good to have you with us tonight. Good evening, Ed. I want to start with Herman Cain's 999 plan. Explain why it is such a grossly regressive, unfair tax. Well, it's regressive because if you have a flat tax like that, 999, essentially it means the rich are paying less and the poor are paying more. I mean, essentially it means that we're getting rid of all the progressivity in the tax code right now. Not that much, but you're getting rid of whatever is remaining. And let's be clear, Mitt Romney would basically raise taxes on the middle class. Is that how you read it? Well, there's no question about it. There's no other way of balancing the budget if you are not going to raise taxes on the rich and you are also going to raise taxes on the poor. I mean, look, at uh, this is just a matter, as Obama says, as the president says, of mathematics. It's also, though, Ed, a question of morality. I mean, we have seen for years, for years, that more and more and more of the nation's income has been going to the very top, the top 1%. More and more of the nation's wealth has been going to the very top. At the very same time, the tax rates paid by the effective tax rates paid by the very, very rich keep on going down, which means more and more of the burden is on the middle class and the poor. It also means the public services are being sacrificed. It's been going on for years, but now it's really completely out of control. And I think that's what a lot of the Occupy Wall Street is all about. Because with all of that money, with all of that wealth at the top, also comes political power. Political power to keep their tax rates low, political power to make sure that the rest of America doesn't get the medical care they need, doesn't get the education they need, and ultimately does not and is not able to organize and mobilize to take back America. We've used this chart on this program showing the effective federal tax rate Republicans, and they won't be satisfied until the bottom 99 percent are paying the same rate as the top 400 taxpayers in America. Uh, how could this politically be a winning policy for them? Well, it's not a winning policy. I mean, Americans know in their bones that they're paying more and more, and they know that the rich are paying less and less, and yet the rich are raking yeah. in more and more of the national income. And if you look at all the polls, the interesting thing, Red, is that for years, a lot of Americans have been hoodwinked by this, uh, this myth of, uh, of, of, you know, downward, trickle-down economics, that if you make the rich richer, everybody else benefits. Well, now people are beginning to catch on. That is absolutely wrong. It is a cruel joke. Trickle-down, nothing trickles down. Also, a lot of Americans were fooled by the idea that one day they would be very rich, they'd all be millionaires, and therefore they don't want to tax millionaires. Most Americans these days know that is also a mythology. They are not going to be yeah. a millionaire, most people. And they just want to they just want a fair deal. They just want to make sure that they if they work hard, they can get ahead, they can uh, save a little bit for their college education, for their kids' college education, they can save for retirement. Most Americans are not greedy. This is not class warfare. And most people understand this is about fundamental fairness and there's no better example than Warren Buffett he released his tax return providing uh, proving should I say that he's uh, paying a lower overall rate at 17 percent and the study came out showing there really is a, a problem will it ever get fixed what do you think well, I think it is going to get fixed, and because people are mobilizing and, and they are energized. I mean, they understand that the budget deficit is real, and if the rich don't pay their fair share, everybody else is going to have to pay more or sacrifice real and important services. The social safety net is already in shreds, and it will be even more shredded unless we get some control over the budget deficit, which means that the rich do have to play their, pay their fair share. And, you know, I, I'm amused. You have a lot of conservative commentators and Republicans these days are saying, oh, well, if Warren Buffett wants to pay more in taxes, yeah. if any other rich person wants to pay more in taxes, yeah. they can pay. Well, That's not the point. The point is that we need to change the federal tax laws so that there are more tax brackets at the top, so that there are higher marginal taxes at the top, so people have to pay more if they are citizens of the United and, States and doing extremely well. And we've had a rate that was successful in the past at 39%. Mr. Reich, always a pleasure. Good to have you.